And I think we're all set to go, so here we go. December 15th, 7 p.m. show between South Haven and Berrien Springs in 3, 2, 1. And welcome to Academic Challenge. I'm Ray Gustafson, your host and moderator. Today we feature teams from South Haven and Berrien Springs. WSJM's Academic Challenge features scholastic competition involving high schools from around Southwest Michigan. Academic Challenge sponsored by Berrien Springs Public Schools, Lake Michigan College, Lakeshore Public Schools, and the Cook Nuclear Plants. As we get rolling, let's meet the teams. First, from South Haven, we'll head on over. If you could say your name and what grade you're in and something interesting about yourself. I'm Tony Wise, I'm a junior, and I like to arrange music. Pretty and cool. he's an Avenger. <laughs> I love it. I'm Josh Rainey. I'm a sophomore, and I really like sports. Good for you. Cool. My name's Alexis Ridley. I'm a sophomore, and I got my black belt a year and a half ago. Ooh, don't mess with Alexis. No, I was going to say, don't mess with Alexis, yeah. Just let her win. Um, my name is Nick Vandenberg. I'm a freshman, and I love math. Excellent. Uh -huh. And all of you guys from South Haven, first time here on the Academic Challenge. So welcome. Glad welcome. that you're here. And uh, if you got any questions along the way, let me know. Let's move over to the Berry and Spring side. My name is Brady. I am a junior, and I draw maps for fun. <laughs> Ask anyone else. He's a Google guy. My name is Matthew. I'm a senior, and I also enjoy math. <laughs> My name is Callie. I am a junior, and I like to take photography pictures. My name's Lily. I'm a junior, and I jump horses. Ooh. Very cool. And you're new to the academic challenge. Welcome. Glad you you're all here. Do you sit on the horse and jump the horse, or do you jump over the horse? <laughs> I jump with the horse. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sometimes <Good>. falls off. <laughs> well, if you need a place to jump, I'm sure we could draw a map for you, <laughs> and then we've got somebody to take pictures of you to do it. And mm -hmm. Anyway, and then who's the sports? And you and you can do play-by-play. Play play. There you go. There we go. So we, we got, got it all covered. Crash so. and burn. Okay. <laughs> we'll see the horse. Yeah. No. Let's hope not. <laughs> all right. A couple of basic like rules that. as we get going. During the first and second halves, we'll announce the value of each question before it's asked. When you press your button, please wait for me to recognize you. Uh, there's no consultation allowed except during the 60-second round. That's at halftime. Again, I'm Ray Gust of Senior Scorekeeper and Judge, and today Bill Klein is joining us, and he'll be asking the questions. Bill, you ready to go? I am ready. Team, are you ready to go? Teams, I should say, are you ready to go? And I want some enthusiasm when I ask this. Teams, are you ready to go? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's more Here's like it. Let's begin the academic challenge. Right. Bill, are you ready with that? All right, question? we've got a multiple choice to start off with, with five points. Whether you believe in biblical creation or evolution, most evidence seems to indicate that the first vertebrae animal to appear on Earth was the A, amphibian, B, bird, C, fish, D, mammal, or E, reptile? Lily from uh, Berrien Springs. It was Brady. Oh, I'm sorry? I'm sorry. Brady from Berrien Springs. We have these backwards on oh, my I sheet do. here. I'm sorry. No problem. <laughs> Brady, what's your answer? Sorry. Fish. That is correct. For five points. Sorry about that. We'll get <laughs> that these, we'll get these tags squared so away. Uh, go ahead with your next question. For 20 question. points. Here we go. What is the mathematical name for the path traced out by a spot on an auto tire if the car is driven in a straight line on a level surface? surface? Sorry, I didn't push the reset button if anybody tried to beep in. What is the mathematical name for the path traced out by this spot on an auto tire if the car is go ahead and finish the driven in a straight line on a level surface. We'll do three seconds. Anybody? Ooh, we got one. Now I got the right ones. Brady, Berry and Springs. Slope. Uh, incorrect. And South Haven, since he answered, I'll give you a couple of seconds if anybody wants to try it. Remember, you don't lose points for an incorrect answer. If anybody wants to try it. That was a fast three seconds. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's He's cycloid. For 10 points. The most famous peak in these mountains is the volcano Vesuvius on the Bay of Naples. Brady, Berrien Springs. Apennines Mountains. That is correct for 10 points. For 15 points, the island of Caraco was named because of a miraculous cure it provided for some of Christopher Columbus's sailors. What dreaded disease did their sojourn? Cali, Berrien Springs. Scurvy. That is correct for 15 points. 15? For 20 points. Identify the French artist whose masterpiece is the imaginative 1897 painting of a sleeping gypsy. Oh, 
Honoré Rousseau. For five points, where is this inscription found? Here rests in honored glory an American soldier known only but to God. Tony, South Haven. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. That is correct for five points. For ten points, what was Eisenhower's short, successful campaign slogan in 1952? Brady, Marion Springs. We like Ike. Uh, incorrect. Marion, uh, South Haven? Anybody? Close. I like Ike. Uh, <laughs> I like Ike. <laughs> for ten points, what is measured at 33 feet per second per second? Matt from Berrien Springs. Acceleration. That's correct. To, due to gravitational. For 10 points. That's 10 points. For 10 points. From where do these lines come? I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Callie, Berrien Springs. The book of Ephesians in the Bible. Uh, incorrect. South Haven, give you five seconds. The Bible was correct, but it was Timothy. Uh, get your pencils out for this one. You're going to have to. Is that a math question or just no, a pencil? No, it's not a math just question. A pencil just a question. pencils question. Okay. How many points? Okay. Ten points. Match these works with their authors. The works are the last of the Mohicans, the last Puritan, and the last Tycoon. The authors are George Centignana. F. Scott Fitzgerald, James Fenimore Cooper. And I'll have you repeat those again just because they're writing them down. Okay. The last of the Mohicans, the last Puritan, the last Tycoon are the works, and the authors are George Santana, F. J Scott Fitzgerald, James Fenimore Cooper. Kelly, Barry and Springs. Centania with Mohicans, F. Scott Fitzgerald with Tycoon, and <clears throat> Cooper with The Last Puritan. Uh, incorrect. So, South Haven, anybody want to take a stab at it? Josh, South Haven? Fitzgerald with uh, Mohican, Centania with uh, Puritan, and Cooper with Tycoon. Uh, incorrect. Uh, you all had Centania <laughs> with the Puritans, but it was Cooper with the Mohicans, and F. Scott Fitzgerald with The Last Tycoon. What? All right. A math question for 15 points. Get your pencils out again. Find the interest on $240 at 4% annual interest for eight months. Say it once more. Interest on $240 at 4% annual interest for eight months. Brady, Barry and Springs. Zero dollars. Uh, incorrect. Six dollars and forty cents for twenty points. Mississippi was the Algonquian Indian word meaning "father of waters." What was the Mohawk Indian word meaning "thunder of waters"? Cali, Barry, and Springs, Missouri. Uh, incorrect. South Haven. Anybody? Thunder, Niagara. <laughs> For 15 points. According to Greek mythology, a mighty king acted as a judge at a musical contest between Apollo and Pan. He awarded the prize to Pan, and Apollo then angrily turned the king's ears into those of an ass. Much ashamed, he managed to keep his ears covered from everyone but his barber. Barbers may need no more secrets than anyone else. But what was the king's name? Brady, Barry and Springs. King Midas. That is correct for 15 points. Long way to get there. For 10 points, what is the name of the time zone located directly east of the eastern time zone? Lily, Barry and Springs. Central. Uh, incorrect. Alexis, South Haven. Eastern? 
Eastern? No. No. Nope. Incorrect. That's incorrect. I think. <laughs> East of the Eastern time zone oh. would be the Atlantic time zone. For five points, at age 10, he asked his mother to buy him the Louvre. Later, he inherited $8 million from his father. Brady, Berrien Springs. Napoleon. Uh, incorrect. Finish the question. Developed a newspaper publishing empire, built a grand castle in St. Simeon, California, and for many years was responsible for purchasing one quarter of the world's art sales. Can you name him? South Haven, I'll give you the time since Berrien Springs buzzed in. William Randolph Hearst. Uh, less than two minutes. For five points, several vice presidents of the United States have later gone on to become president. Which vice president was the first to do so? Callie, Barry and Springs. Thomas Jefferson. Uh, incorrect. Josh, South Haven. Johnson. Uh, incorrect. Uh, John Adams was the first vice president and then the second president. Uh, for 10 points, what was the maximum number of terms a person may serve as vice president? Matt from Berrien Springs. Two. Uh, incorrect. Josh, South Haven. Unlimited. That is correct for 10 points. A math question for 10 points. What is the square root of 441? Square root of 441. Brady, Berrien Springs. 21. That is correct for, for 10 four. points. For 10 points. Well, that's the end of the first half of the academic challenge on WSJM. We'll be back with the score in the 60-second round after this on WSJM, the news and talk of Michigan's Great Southwest. Okay. Why should I see do DC? Uh, the name's the same. I've been to DC somewhat recently. No, no. They feel like they're all like English based. Except for me. I don't know. DC, DC can't be too hard. Yeah. Well, it's just like the things like the president. Things like the president. Okay, so we do DC. How would you do it? Let's do DC. I think they might do DC. I think they might do DC. So we'll probably have to do names as well. Well, I don't know. Let's do DC unless they do. Can we go to Washington? I don't know much. I feel like Washington could be like so much. Mm. What, what's the the same though? What do you think that would be? That's probably right. It'd be like this man. Like John's a common name. It'll be like this is a man who was like second president. And also a man that like runs a tractor company. Are we good? They understand how it. Any questions on the 60 second? Mm -hmm. You guys okay with it? Yes, sir. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. So Tony, you're going to be the yeah. yep. you're going to be the team captain. Mm -hmm. So so I want you guys to consult with one another when you ask the question. <laughs> That's what I should ask. DC is kind of okay. I can't be too right. specific. And then uh, Matt, you're going to be the team captain for the 60 second round. Please yes, consult with one another, but the answer needs to come from you then. So okay, all right, all right. Let's get on to the 60 second round here, and we'll begin the 60 second round in three, two, one. Welcome back to the Academic Challenge on WSJM. At the end of the first half, the score, Berrien Springs, 65, South Haven, 15. Now on to the 16, uh, 60 second round. Teams, you have three categories to choose from. It's been a long day. We'll give you 60 <laughs> seconds to answer as many of the 10 questions as you can. Each one of the 10 questions is worth 10 points. There will be a 20 point bonus if you answer all 10 within that 60 second time, uh, time limit that we give you. You are encouraged to consult with one another at this point, but the answers need to come from the team captain. After the minute is up, the opposing team will have a chance to answer any questions that the first team could not answer. So South Haven, you are currently trailing at the moment, so you have first choice of these categories, which are name the same, literature, and Washington, D.C. Tony, you're going to be the team captain. What uh, category did you guys choose from? We're going with name the same. Name the same. We will put 60 seconds on the clock, um, and that 60 seconds will start. Do you have a setup for these, Bill? Nope, none of them have a we'll, setup. We'll put 60 seconds on the clock. The 60 seconds will start as soon as he's done reading that first question. The name's the same. Rolling, 
Open Wasteland and the Muslim Conquerors of Spain. Pass. The name of what animal sounds the same as someone you find very dull? Pass. It's a type of shoe or cloth or where a Rhodes Scholarship will get you. Pass. Resistance to a particular disease or exemption from prosecution. Immunity. Correct. Making an electrical connection or stay home punishment for teenagers is called what? Grounding. Correct. What word can mean an office, a government agency, or a dresser in your bedroom? A cabinet. Incorrect. What four-letter word can refer to a toilet, an attic, a chief, or lettuce? Head. Correct. Which record company and computer company are named after the same food? Apple. Correct. What can be filled with car prices or college test answers? Go ahead and answer it. I'll, I'll let you answer. And I'll do the same for you guys, for the Variant Springs, too. Any need an answer? Pass? Pass? Okay. They passed on that one. Okay. Four. So, so we got four correct. So we got 40 points. So Barry and Springs, that means there are six unanswered questions uh, that we'll throw it over to you. We will put 60 seconds on the clock again and give you a chance to steal. See if you can grab those remaining six, uh, 60 points. And the 60 seconds yeah, will begin as soon as uh, uh, Bill finishes reading that first question. The name's the same. Rolling, Open Wasteland, and the Muslim Conquerors of Spain. The Muslim Conquerors of Spain. Um, Arabs. Arabs? Uh, incorrect. Moors. The name of what animal sounds the same as someone you find very dull? A boar. Correct. It's a type of shoe or cloth or where a Rhodes Scholarship will get you. A Rhodes Scholarship? Um, Is there a college? Um, Cambridge. Cambridge. Uh, incorrect. <laughs> you got the wrong one. Oxford. <laughs> what word can mean an office, a government agency, or a dresser in your bedroom? Department. 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 Uh, incorrect. It's a bureau. Oh. What can be filled with car prices or college test answers? Bracket. Pass. Oh, you can't really try, pass. Go ahead and try an answer. Bracket. Bracket. Uh, blue book. A Rio Beach and former New York nightclub share what name? Rio de Take an answer. Rio Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> Coco Cabana. All right. So we got one. So you got one correct. So you picked up 10 Ooh. points. So now what we'll do is we'll switch sides. Uh, Barry and Springs, there are two remaining categories for you to choose from. We have literature and Washington, D.C. And then we'll do the same thing. Uh, if you don't answer all the 10, then South Haven, be ready uh, to answer any of the questions that they can't answer for you to pick up some of those extra points as well. So we have literature in Washington, D.C. Matt, you're the team captain. What are you choosing? I'm going to go with Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. it is. Lewis, we have 60 seconds back on the clock. That was uh, no setup for this one either. Nope. We'll begin with the 60 seconds as soon as he's done reading that first question. What does the D.C. in Washington, D.C. stand for? District of Columbia. District of Columbia. Correct. Washington, D.C. is located between what two states? Maryland and Virginia. Maryland and Virginia. Correct. <laughs> On what river is the nation's oh. capital? Potomac. I'm Potomac. Sorry. Correct. What is the address of the White House? Uh, 1200 Pennsylvania Avenue. 1200 Pennsylvania Avenue. Uh, incorrect. Construction began on the White House in 1792. What U.S. building began to go up a year later? The Capitol building. Sure. The Capitol building? Correct. In what year did British troops capture the city and burn the Capitol? Yeah, 1812. 1812? Incorrect. What was the name of D.C.'s former okay. professional baseball team? Uh, Democrats. <laughs> the Capitals? Incorrect. One of the nation's most influential newspapers is published in Washington, D.C. What paper? The Washington Post. Correct. What fashionable residential area in D.C. was designated a national monument in 1967? Go ahead and give you time to answer. The mall area. Uh, incorrect. <laughs> so we got five? Five. Got five correct. So South Haven, you know what that means. There are 50 points sitting out there for you to pick up. Uh, we'll put 60 seconds back on the timer. The category is Washington, D.C. And those 60 seconds will begin. Remember, I need the answer from you, Tony. Make sure you're consulting with one another. 60 seconds will begin as soon as he's done reading that first question. 
What is the address of the White House? No, you don't have to whisper. Talk it out. Talk it out. 1300 Pennsylvania Avenue. Uh, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. In what year did British troops capture the city and burn the capital? Yell it out. 1810. Uh, 1814. What was the name of D.C.'s former professional baseball team? Patriots. <laughs> Harmon Killebrew, the Washington Senators. What fashionable residential area in D.C. was designated a national monument in 1967? No idea. Georgetown. Who was the first president inaugurated in Washington, D.C.? Jefferson. Correct. Is that it? That's it. Got through. Ten points. So they got one correct. So, all right. I will put the scores together here. That's the uh, That ends our 60-second round. We'll check the scores. Conclude the game next here on WSJM, the news and talk of Michigan's Great Southwest. Leave me in the chair. It's right. <laughs> you know how much I was dying over here. I'm trying. She looked me in the back. <laughs> Doing fine. It's only my third week. Cambridge, I joined with Harvard, Harvard, Stanford. Stanford. You know, Oxford. Oxford. Shoe, the shoes didn't produce for you. That was my second try, but it didn't work for that either. I'm like, Harvard is it a shoe? Yeah, Nike doesn't have a university. What shoes do you have? Thanks. We'll wait just a minute. We've got someone in the restroom, and then we'll uh, we'll continue on. Um, when we come back, then, uh, Tony, I'll welcome us back to the show, and then I'll come to you and have you say something about your school. And then we'll move over to Correct. move over to Brady then. So, and then when we come back, we'll come back and I'll have you read something about the school. Does that work? Yeah. Okay. Are we ready, guys? Team? <laughs> Team? Are you thinking fun? Check that too. All right. Here we go. Let's do the uh, let's do the second half of the academic challenge, and it will begin in three, two, one. Welcome back to Academic Challenge on WSJM. The score at the end of the sixty-second round: South Haven sixty-five to Berrien Springs 125. It's now time to find out what's happening at each of our participating schools. First from South Haven, we'll head over to Tony. Tell us what's happening. Currently going on, we have auditions for Annie occurring this week at the high school. Good luck to all the performers. The Teen Advisory Board of the South Haven Memorial Library will be hosting a holiday movie night at the South Haven Memorial Library on Friday, December 18th from 3 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Snacks provided and door prizes will be given away. Congratulations to the boys and girls basketball teams for recent victories over Sturgis and Plainwell. Construction has begun on our new high school. Stop in over the summer to see our progress. <laughs> and finally, a thank you to our sponsors, Barry and Spring Public Schools, Lake Michigan College, Cook Nuclear Plant, and the Lakeshore Lancers Public Schools. Do you know when the high school, the new school is supposed to be finished? Two years. Uh, in two years? Two years. Very, very cool. Who's, uh, who's auditioning for Sandy? Playing the dog in Annie, that's fun part. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Don't know. We're actually getting so. a real dog. <laughs> that's All right. Used, real dog. Well, let's move over Keto to Berrien Springs. <laughs> Brady, tell us what's going on at Berrien Springs. So. Greetings from Berrien Springs High School. Our first semester is beginning to wind down as we come to Christmas break. We would like to congratulate our wrestlers on their first place finish at the Bangor Super Duels. We would like to congratulate Mason McFarland on his academic all-state team recognition and Philip Paye for his placement on the Detroit Free Press football dream team and first team all-state recognition. The Berrien Springs Choirs will be holding their annual Christmas concert at the Howard Performing Arts Center of Andrews University on Wednesday, December 16th at 6 o'clock p.m. The public is welcome and encouraged to attend this event. We would like to thank the sponsors, Lake Michigan College, Berrien Springs Public Schools, Lakeshore Schools, Cook Nuclear Plant, AEP, and the radio stations of WSJM-FM 94.9 for hosting this event. Before we sign off, we would like to wish everybody a safe and happy Christmas and New Year. 
Thank you, Brady. Thank nice you. job. Merry Christmas And right back you at too. you. And, uh, and the same for everybody. I uh, hope you have a great holiday season. Are we ready for the second half? Teams, are we ready for second half? Yes. yes. All right. That's what we need. <laughs> All okay. right. Bill, are you ready for second I'm half? ready. All right. Let's do this. Here we go with the beginning of the second half of the Academic Challenge. For 15 points, Charles V, Mary Stewart, Nicholas II, Victor Emmanuel III, Edward the Eighth, Wilhelmina, Leopold the Third, and Farouk the First. What do these monarchs monarchs have in common? Brady, Varian Springs. They all ruled the Austrian Empire. Uh, incorrect. They all abdicated their thrones. Hmm. For ten points, what word describes the process of preparing a new disc? For use on a computer. Josh, South Haven. Burning. Uh, incorrect. Matt, Marion Springs. Formatting. That is correct. For 10 points. Oh, yeah, for five points. The hunting of this equine beast was often the subject of tapestries of the Middle Ages. Brady, Marion Springs. Unicorns. That is correct. For <laughs> five, points. five points. I felt really stupid if that was <laughs> <laughs> That was a nice question, too, but anyway. For 20 points, what's the difference between microfish and microfilm? I've got a really funny comeback for that one, but I'm not going <laughs> to so go for I, it. So do I, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> microfish are really tiny fish. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> microfish is on a card. Microfilm is on a roll. Oh, okay. For 10 points... Name the cabinet-level department of the federal government that includes the Food and Drug Administration and the Social Security Administration. Callie, Barry and Springs. The Department of Interior. Uh, incorrect. Tony, South Haven. Department of Health. More complete. Uh, um... Department of Health and Human Services. Yeah, we had to have the complete answer on that one. Yeah, one of my favorites. Yeah. Social Security, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you will too someday. Uh, for 20 points, hopefully. If it's yeah. still available, <laughs> yeah. yeah it, it will be. It will be because you guys are all going to have jobs and you're going to pay into it. That's right. For 20 points, geologically, the fourth period of the Paleozoic era, characterized by the appearance of forest and amphibians, is called what? Brady, Barry and Springs? Carboniferous period. Incorrect. Devonian. For fifteen points. Though it is though it has a population of only twenty eight thousand, this country is headquarters for over five thousand foreign businesses. Can you name the country? Cali, Barry and Springs. United Arab Emirates. Uh, incorrect. Tony, South Haven. Taiwan. Uh, incorrect. Liechtenstein. For five points, how do you spell Liechtenstein? <laughs> Brady, Barry and Springs. L I E C H T E N S T E I N. That is correct. For I'm five points. I'm glad you could so follow along that fast. <laughs> For five points. In slang, it means to falsify evidence so as to cause another to appear guilty. In bowling, it is one of ten divisions of a game. Brady, Barry and Springs? Frame. That is correct for five points. For five points, New York University researchers say severe sunburn during childhood appears to increase the risk years later of developing what disease? Brady, Barry and Springs? Skin cancer? That's correct for five points. For 15 points... In 1776, Thomas Paine began publishing a series of pamphlets entitled The Crisis. The first of these began with what memorable line? Brady, Barry and Springs. We hold these truths to be self-evident. <laughs> Incorrect. Good quote, though. These are the times the try men's souls. 
Just mm -hmm. before he did common, common sense. sense. For five points, the era from 1558 to 1603 in England is called the Elizabethan Age. What do we call the period from 1837 to 1900? Brady, Barry and Springs. Victorian. That is correct for five points. For five points, name the last U.S. president elected in the 19th century. Brady, Barry and Springs. William McKinley. That is correct for five points. A math question for five points. Get your pencils ready. Which has the same amount of calcium as one cup of milk? A, two cups of broccoli. B, four ounces of canned salmon. C, five medium oranges. Or D, 13 slices whole wheat bread. Repeat the whole thing one, <laughs> for, one more time for me. Again. Yeah, please. Which has the same amount of calcium as one cup of milk? Okay. A, two cups of broccoli. B, four ounces of canned salmon. C, five medium oranges. Or D, 13 slices of whole wheat bread. Matt, Barry and Springs. Two cups of broccoli? Well, that is correct. That sounds like my lunch. <laughs> really? Yeah. So you eat healthy? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> but the trick there was no matter which one you would have answered, they were all correct. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Trick uh, question. Trick question. I don't do them. I just read them. <laughs> For 20 points, what 20th century composer's music draws upon the folk songs of his native Armenia? His best known work is the Gain Ballet, featuring the colorful, colorful saber dance. Brady, Marion Springs. The Nutcracker. Uh, incorrect. It was the 20th century composer. And it's Aram Kachakachurian. <laughs> yeah, it just trips right off the tongue. Say that one three times. I uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> I tried that and it didn't work well. <laughs> For five points. In 10 million years, predict geologists, movement of the land in California will be such that a Dodgers Giants World Series would be a crosstown rivalry. What two large cities would be adjacent if this theory is correct? Brady, Barry, and Springs. Los Angeles and San Diego. Uh, incorrect. The Los Angeles Dodgers and the San Francisco Giants. Los Angeles and San Francisco. Multiple choice question for five points. Which of the following best illustrates the uniform expansion of the universe? Pattern wallpaper. An automobile engine, a tinker toy structure, or a balloon being blown up? Brady, Barry, and Springs. A balloon being blown up. That is correct for five points. About two minutes left. For 20 points. In 1966, while being interviewed by the North Vietnamese for a confession, on a film which was shown throughout the world, American prisoner Jeremiah Denton blinked what word in Morse code for the cameras? Callie, Barry and Springs. Torture. That is correct for 20 points. For five points, that's very good. After all of the spades have been removed from a standard deck of 52 playing cards, what is the probability that one card pulled from the remaining deck will be a heart? Brady, Barry and Springs. One and three. That is correct for five points. For 15 points, this noted philosophical theory holds that nothing but space-filling objects are ultimately real. What is this theory known as? Brady, Barry and Springs? Existence theory. I am correct. South Haven, I'll give you five seconds. Josh, South the theory, Haven? The theory of mass? I am correct. Materialism. Some good guesses, though. For 20 points, the style-conscious woman of the 1950s often teetered precariously, albeit fashionably, on a pair of high spiked-heeled shoes. By what appropriate name were they known? Matt, Barry and Springs. A diva? Uh, incorrect. Uh, 
Uh, Alexis, right on the buzzer uh, from South Haven. Stiletto? That is correct. Yes. For 20 points. <laughs> nice job. Yeah. Everyone in the room who wore them, like, oh, I hate them. For 15 I, I points. I do, too. They just really hurt. You know? According, I, I know I've worn them, too. It's How terrible. many points on this one? Uh, for 15 points. Okay. According to the New Testament, we should resolve our anger before when? Brady, Barry and Springs. Before the sun sets. That's correct. For five, 15 points. 15 points. What is the greatest number of votes that can be cast on a single roll call vote in the United States Senate? Lily, Barry and Springs? 100. Uh, incorrect. <phone rings> 101, the vice president or the president of the Senate only votes in case of a tie. Well... Time is up. Time's up. So that you know what that means. That's the end of today's academic challenge Good match. Job, we'll tabulate the scores and announce the winners after this on WSJM, the news and talk of Michigan's great Southwest. All right, let me do the wrap up here. When yeah. I say congratulations to the team, let's hoot and holler and, and, and applaud and everything. So here comes the wrap up. Quiet on the set, please. Here we go with the wrap up in three, two, one. We're back on WSJM's Academic Challenge to announce today's winner and thank our sponsors. The winners by a score of 220 to 85 are the team from Berrien Springs. Congratulations, Yay. Berrien Springs. And nice job to both teams tonight. Absolutely. Good job. Thank you well all done. for joining us on WSJM's Academic Challenge, brought to you by Lakeshore Public Schools, Lake Michigan College, Berrien Springs Public Schools, and the Cook Nuclear Plant. Join us again in two weeks at the same time as Coloma and Lakeshore go head-to-head -head on Academic Challenge. And we wish you a very...